Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Veos and welcome to this episode. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of uh, updating, a little bit of a channel update, and also talking about uh, things that I want your guys' opinions on. Uh, first things first is I hope everyone is doing well. It's been a, a rough couple of weeks for me, and I've been uh, the first off like live streaming testing, and uh, I really enjoy it. It's um, I had uh, some time this week, and uh, we went ahead and tested out a couple of live streams during the week. And I do admit that uh, <laughs> the hours that I was supposed to be sleeping, I was live streaming, and that affected my job. Uh, not not in a negative way. Well, yes, in a negative way, but not in a bad way where I, you know, something bad happened. But you know, it's one of those things where if you, <laughs> you know, you forget to sign your name on a per important piece of document because you're too tired. Yeah, you know, that's yeah, that's. Anyway, moving on, but we're going to be doing more live streaming, more testing, and then eventually probably even get a schedule going. So I'm not um, I'm not doing something stupid like uh, spending all, all night up on a live stream and uh, having to get up four hours later to go to work. So we'll, we'll figure something out. But also I want to I want to point out that live streaming does cut into my actual video um, editing and making time so like I said it's gonna be a delicate balance between the two I enjoy live streaming and I enjoy being able to talk to each and every single one of you as we are live streaming which I do uh, apologize the, the past couple of live streams I've been trying to play KSP and read the comments at the same time and it's darn near impossible to concentrate on a, building a craft and looking at the comments and so it's like uh, I built the craft for about a good five minutes and I look at the comments but it's already several pages down and it's, and it's like uh, I have to go back and read everything but like I said it's one of those things where sometimes people come in on Skype they help me out with the comments and whatnot but anyway uh, moving on having some problems with 1.1.3 and the mods Unfortunately, some of the mods, Scatterer being one of the culprits, is having some serious problems and it's literally destroying the game, uh, uh, unable to play it at all. Um, so if I'm going to continue doing videos, it's probably going to be without Scatterer. Uh, still having some issues with the facing face glitches, the face... Uh, when you zoom into a, when you zoom into something like a Kerbal, it it, it would cut away at the Kerbal, and uh, you can see the insides of the Kerbal pretty much without even getting up close to it. Uh, but Scatter allowed you to uh, allow you allowed you to uh, be able to um, I, I don't know bring the bring the clipping plane uh, closer into the camera so that wouldn't happen which uh, would give better cinematics and stuff of this nature. And so if Scatter is on the fritz, it's kind of hard to do that. But thankfully, thankfully, I had an older version of Scatterer still on the hard drive, and I'm using that in 1.1.2. Yes, I've gone back to 1.1.2. 1.1.3 is going to have to take a back seat because I am just done with it. You know, I'm just done with it. Um... So right now I am actually working on, uh, uh, well I was working on a few crafts before I finally jumped off of 1.1.3. So sadly those crafts are not compatible with 1.1.2. I'm going to have to rebuild them in 1.1.2. I know it sucks, but anyway, at least 1.1.2 and the mods work. And because they work, I'm able to work on Solar Nations Part 12. Now, I have a few things that I've, I've been able to record, but um, I've only had a couple hours to play the game and uh, record a few things from Solar Nations. Unfortunately, when you see a 10 minute video of Solar Nations, that's probably from a week's worth of playing, and I've cropped it, you know, I've, I've taken five minutes out of several hours of gameplay and then put them all together. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, um, it takes a lot to do all the maneuvers and to build the crafts and to test them and make sure they work and all this other good stuff in Solar Nations before I record maybe a couple of minutes worth of stuff and then move on to the next couple of hours. 
in order to record a couple more minutes of stuff and then put it all together to a video for you guys. And then on top of that, create a story and of course, um, narrate. And like I said before, Solar Nations is not scripted. Um, if something bad happens, if something goes wrong and something blows up, then guess what? I have to figure out a story behind it because uh, it's not scripted. If something blows up, it will blow up in, in the uh, story. And uh, missions can fail, which is one of the reasons why I send probes first to uh, see if it's safe for a Kerbal. You know, to fly that ship or to do that mission. And, um, yeah, it takes a while. It definitely takes a while. I'll blow up a couple, I'll blow up a handful of ships before I finally get it right. And then when I finally get it right, okay, it's safe. It's safe for, uh, um, it's safe for Kerbals, you know. But anyway, all right. So, um, last thing that I want to talk about is I'm looking at making a new channel. And the new channel will be for live streams only. I've already made the channel, but it's sort of, you know, in the in the works. It's it's in the background. I'm tweaking it, I'm looking at it, I'm wondering if it will work. Uh, right now the the name is uh, Veos Gaming and it's nothing big. Nothing big, nothing special, but it's a place where I can put all the live streams cuz what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all the hours and hours of live streams you know because the live stream is never one hour <laughs> it's either two or three it's never 30 minutes unless you're playing something that's fast like a quick game or whatever but um and i'm gonna i was thinking about separating them um so you don't have to have these random couple hour long live streams um on this channel so that's something i'm working on i would like your opinions about that in the comments below also i got a, i got the patreon patreon came in today and it's uh it really helped thank you so much to my patreon um patrons uh, i cannot i cannot cannot thank you enough it, it's it's awesome you guys are amazing thank you so much and uh like i said give give from your hearts don't give because you because uh, um, you think there's uh, some giant golden pot of gold at the end of the rainbow because uh, I'm so sorry I the only the only uh, pot of gold or rainbows that I can give are of course the videos and the craft files from um, from KSP as well as um, live streams and you know just chatting online or whatever the case may be but those by themselves are free. You do not have to give to Patreon. You do not have to give at all to this channel. I do this because I love doing it. Even if I only had 10 subscribers, I would still do it. It's something that I love and it's for free. But if you feel like in your heart that you want to donate, then Patreon is a, is a uh, is an outlet to donate to the channel and I and I appreciate every every bit of support that uh, you guys have uh, I am tired it's been a long day um, and really quick before I end this before I end this video uh, Hatbat and I were working on something and I'm gonna go ahead and put a link on the bottom of his uh, new video and go ahead and check it out and subscribe to Hatbat he's, he's really cool he does a lot of cinematic things for KSP and we were working on a few things, um, and I think it turned out pretty good. I think it turned out pretty good. Um, anyway, so um, yeah, check that out, and I will, and I will end the video here. Have a good night, and I hope to see you soon at one of these random live streams. That yeah, sometimes they pop up without warning, but like I said, it's um, it's still a test. It's still in the beta. It's not wow, shoot, it's not even beta yet. It's still alpha for me. For me, it's still alpha until we get a schedule going, but, um, all right. Well, I am Veos Human, signing off, and have a good night.